seem to forgotten what love thy neighbor means, okay? And even Planet Fitness has a day. Okay, right there. Seem to forgotten if you love the neighbor or not. Well, in Ezekiel 3 and 18, if you read it, you can tell if you love your neighbor or not. you got to love someone enough to tell them the truth, if they're sinning, if it's wrong, if it's right. God sent godly women to tell me when I was doing wrong and I was doing right. Now, I'll give this one credit. She's trying. She's trying. And God honors anybody that tries. Now, that being said, your walk with Christ is separate. Each and every one of us have our own walk. Repentance is a daily thing. There is something every day, and I feel the Spirit of God, that you can give up. Now, church, you're either going to love this person and bring them to Christ, or you're going to run them off by acting ignorant, being stupid, and mean. Yes, I said it. Ignorant means stupid. And Jesus called them out when they were being ignorant. He called them out when they were being hypocrites. Now, by any means of insulting someone that's wrong, but I don't see people insulting this person. I see them correcting. But at the same time, if they don't want that correction, why are you throwing your pearls before the swine? Leave them alone. And right now, this lovely lady is going through a hard time. She just lost her son. So I don't think right now it's time to preach to her. It's best off sometimes you just leave them alone. Like my husband said. He said this many times. He said, baby, sometimes you do more harm than good when you're sitting there trying to shove it down their throat. Let them find out on their own. Let, just pray for them. Let the good Lord deal with them is what he meant by that. Okay? Now, that being said, in Matthew 5 and 10, I want y'all to read that too. We're going to leave it at that. Right now, just cover this lady in prayer. Let God do what he does best. Now, if someone doesn't want to hear what you have to say, that's fine. But you can't just go up and start preaching to somebody that you don't know. You you got to let the Holy Spirit do it. Because if you're doing it, you're losing. Church, stop fighting. Start helping each other. Okay? I get that people are messing up. I get that. I totally do. I have family that won't associate with me because I will not partake in their sin. And that is on them. That is on them. Not me. I love them. I will pray for them, but I'm going to love them from a distance. But don't be getting on someone's page saying something if you ain't ready to back yourself up. Have scripture to do it.